So Brian and I have been making movies ever since we were kids. We first met as 11 year olds in Bed North, Iowa. And um, just throughout like our time together, throughout high school and throughout our college years, just continued making movies and feature films for practically no budget. We were looking at film schools in Chicago. We were looking at film schools in California. But we had this drive just to stay within the state. And what was cool about University of Iowa is it's such an artistic pocket within the state. We knew once we were there, we'd have access to great classes. We'd have access to seeing a lot of world cinema and not just kind of American cinema as well. And that, that drive mixed with those opportunities might create something interesting. So for us, we were always thinking, let's stay in Iowa. Let's see what opportunities we can make for ourselves here. And, you know, in retrospect, it was the total right decision for us. So, so Scott and I were taking this nonverbal communication class that we absolutely loved. And it really opened our eyes to how much we t communicate to each other without actually using words. And at the same time, we were being exposed to a lot of silent films, both in class and outside of class. And we thought, like, if you could marry a kind of, uh, you know, Buster Keaton-esque silent film kind of genre with horror or thriller, that it could also be really suspenseful. So the kernel of the idea definitely came during our time at U the University of Iowa. I moved directly to Los Angeles, and so one of the first things I did was look up the alumni network and see who is a Hawkeye in Hollywood. And there were numerous names, and at the top of the list was Nicholas Meyer, who had done a few of the Star Trek movies and just had a very prolific career after graduating from here. Immediately he responds back. He's like, why don't you come over to my house in the Pacific Palisades and just hang out and we can, we can talk about what you want to do. And it was one of the most gracious things that I think I've ever received from anybody. Um, it, it felt like a mentorship just that one afternoon sitting with him and having him just kind of open up his home and his own mind and, and be nice to a fellow Hawkeye. So. Yeah, I have to say like every single like University of Iowa alumni has been so supportive of us, all the ones that um, work in the film industry and we do our best to, to pay that forward as well. It's been a wild journey, you know, in our careers. We've been making movies since we were kids and we've been doing this professionally for a handful of years, um, but it feels like things have really kind of come full circle this weekend. And by that, I mean, we used to show our movies to our audiences here in Iowa City, back at home in the Quad Cities, and that for us was always the most important. And so opening weekend, we knew, let's go back to Iowa and watch the movies in the hometown theaters that we always saw them in, just, just for fun. And what's been really cool is there's been a lot of um, younger filmmakers that we've met just in the last like 24 hours here in Iowa that are like, we wanna make movies, what's the next step, how do we do this? And it's very much feels like we're looking at ourselves yesterday. Like we still, in some respects, feel like we're 16, year, 16 years old, not knowing how to make movies and how to make that happen in Iowa. But what's incredible is there's so much talent here. You can make it happen tomorrow. We had no idea how the movie would be received. We watched, you know, a rough cut a few weeks ago and feel really grateful that audiences so far have kind of been latching onto the film and propping it up. But... I don't know, like Scott said, we just still feel like we're kids and we're just taking shots and hoping people will enjoy what we do. So we're in post-production right now in our other film, Haunt, which we wrote and directed. We hope to have that out uh, later this year, if not next year. And beyond that, like, I think our dream is always to come back to the state and make more movies. Like, this is where we grew up. It's very much um, a, a place that we wrote Quiet Place with in mind. Quiet Place was always written with cornfields and corn silos and the farmland that we grew up that felt really idyllic and we wanted to make that scary within the confines of that specific movie. But you know, certainly the dream would be to come back here and make movies for, for years to come.